Lola, I'm pretty sure it's moving. Y'all, she's chasing the spider. Lola. Lola, it's moving. If it was food, it wouldn't move, Lola. Look, watch out. It's one of the little gray and black jumping spider. Where did it go, Lola? Are you going to kill it? No, she, she's really sitting here. Did you get it? Lola says it's all protein. Lola, when did you start eating spiders? Anyways, the dog is eating spiders, y'all. The whole situation. Maybe she's hungry. I could have sworn I fed her breakfast this morning. A nice, hearty breakfast at that. But I guess I didn't give her enough. Anyways, mid-morning coffee breaks. By far the best thing ever. Especially, we have been up so early in the morning and doing all the things. So, sipping my coffee. Ooh, my bacon is ready to go in. Hold on, one second. One second. So, I, yours truly, have been up since the crack of dawn this morning. And that's pretty much been all week. Like, the last two days. Today makes three. Like, I'm giving myself props here. Because y'all know, I am not about that life of getting up before the sun if I don't have to. But, I got so much going on this week, which you guys know. I'm sure you're tired of hearing about this party situation and graduation. But, it is just what is consuming my life at the moment. So, there it is. Anyways, um, yeah, I got up early, got dinner on for the humans, as well as Lola the pug. Last night, let me, let me rewind, recap. Last night, I did my best job multitasking. So while I was editing the blog that went up today, which is yesterday for you guys, anyways, while I was editing the blog, I also had some chicken in the oven that I was cooking. And then I said, oh, you know what? 
the computer is running slow, it's taking its time, let me go and start working on the daycare area. So I broke down pretty much everything, moved things out of the way that needed to be moved. Um, and then I, I did all the dusting. Y'all, we have a dust in there quite some time, let's be for real. There has not been daycare going on in there, so it was quite dusty. So I did all the dusting. So all I needed to do this morning was sweep, vacuum, and mop. So all of that's done. That space is completely set and ready to go for company. So that is that. Um, I just need to, I'm going to cut on my diffuser and um, diffuse some, some tea tree oil, probably a little bit of lemon as well, just to freshen up the space. It doesn't stink in there. But, you know, to clean it out and freshen it up, tea tree oil is really good for that. So, anyways, that's all I need to do is get the diffuser from upstairs and plug it up down here. Um, but, anyways, outside of that, uh, today I have only one errand to run, and that is the Sam's. We're going to go and order um, Mason's Cupcakes and Jalen's Graduation Cake um, to make sure they have it ready for Sunday, of course. And... That's really the only errand I have to run. I do need to go by um, Lola's Vet and see about getting a refill for, she has a anti, is it, what's it called? Is it an antihistamine? I don't know. She has, she has a, like an allergy pill that we give her here and there, there and here. It's basically Benadryl for dogs. Like, let's be for real. That's what it is, Benadryl for dogs. Anyways, her insurance cover it. So we have one more refill. So why not get the one more free refill? So I need to call and see about getting that um, refilled and going swing and pick it up. However, there's a new medicine they put her on um, a couple, about about a good month or two ago. And I noticed a significant difference with that medicine. Like she immediately was relieved of all her, like she, first of all, Lola has just really bad, severe allergies. So it and everything breaks her out. It's just, it's a hit or miss with her. Like, legit, it's a, it's a hit or miss. And honestly, something I never really share with Couponing World, I wash her clothes in baby drip. It's a whole situation. Like, I use the sensitive baby drip. We're not always able to get really cute, good couponing deals on it. So, I typically buy a huge jug from Walmart, and it will last us a good while. But that's simply what I will use on her clothes. Sometimes, I'll use Arm & Hammer on her clothes on her bedding. But her clothes too if she's wearing clothes but anyways talking about Lola like she's a human but you know she's my baby she's my fur baby so anyways um the medicine that they put on one last time around we don't have a refill for that one but the one that she has always been taking we have a refill for that one so I'm going to see if they will give us a refill for the other one the other one was for an infection but also it was supposed it's like a steroid so it's supposed to also help with the um with the itchy, itchiness of her skin because of allergies and all this other stuff. So, anyways, long story short, what I'm saying is that the new medicine, I seen a significant difference very quickly when she started taking that one versus the other medicine that she has always taken. So, we need to call the vet, go by there, and check that out. So, that's only two things that we need to take care of outside the house today. Sam's and the vet. And that's it. Um, I'm going to finish off the stuff in the daycare. I need to go upstairs. I had the kids bring the stuff that we put upstairs to get out the way. Um, some of the baby stuff. I had Jalen and Mason bring that upstairs last night. Put it in the game room. I told them to put it in the closet. Who knows if it made it in the closet. It's probably like dead middle of the game room floor. Whole situation. But we will see. All right. And then also Jada has, you know, today it's, it's just one of them days. Y'all think I'd be joking when I say I need to be cloned, like I legit need to be cloned. Jada has a dentist appointment at 4. It shouldn't be no more than 10 minutes. She's usually just in and out. They change her wires, and I say 10 minutes, maybe 20. But they change out her wires for her braces, so she's she has that at 4. And then Madison has to be to the high school for 6 because she's graduated tonight. So, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to drive the Batmobile, because I'm going to need all the speed I can get to get on that side of town for the dentist's office and then fly back on this side of town and get Madison to the school at 6. Luckily enough, the school is like one, two lights over, so not too far. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'm going to grab my neighbor's daughters and his son. He gets off a little bit late, so um, I didn't want the girls, I, well, the girls, I didn't want the oldest daughter, the fifth grader, to miss out on the graduation ceremony. So 
I'm just going to take them. I told them this morning to text you where I'll text the dad myself. I texted him earlier, but I told the girl, the, the daughter, to tell her dad that, hey, Miss Michelle said that she'll bring us um, or whatever. He just needs to be there to pick them up. And if he's not, no big deal. They live, like, right there at the corner. So I'll um, go and get them as well or swing and pick them up on the way out. So anyways, I'm just rambling now. I got my bacon on. As soon as that's done, I'm going to fix me some eggs, finish off my coffee, um, and then we're going to get out the house, head to Sam's, do the bet. Um, now needs to come back and bag up Madison's um, gift. I got her and her friend a cute little um, uh, single rose as well from uh, Kroger's last night, so I need to get all that prepped and prepared. So we'll be ready to go um, and stuff, and I need to take a bath before we go so i need to be bathed in like the next um couple hours such a torture to have to take a bath like don't get me wrong i'm clean i clean my butt every night but if i could just chill until the very last minute i'm not gonna lie that's what i would do that's what i would do let me go because my dog is seriously sitting here eating everything off the floor what are you doing lola are you hungry you know what it is she smells the aroma of her dinner cooking she knows her mama's hooking her up with some good stuff. And her stomach is starting to touch her back. Now she's craving it. You're going to have to wait, mama. It's no, it's nowhere near done. What? Well, you're such a cute girl. You're such a cute girl. See, y'all look at this. I knew they just threw this stuff up here. And by they, I mean Jalen. He knew he could have fixed this better than this. That boy there, I tell you. I guess I'll give him credit for bringing it up the stairs. So, whatever. Y'all remember this closet here? This is the upstairs game room. This used to be my office inside the closet there until I took back over the actual room downstairs that's meant to be an office. So, anyways, I legit never come in the game room, like, ever. This is the area where the kids hang out, the hubby, Lola, and they always have a mess in here. That's why I'm not going to turn the camera on because it's a hot mess and I just refuse to deal with it. So, anyways, let me straighten this up. The Power Quick Pot 8-in-1 One Touch Multi Cooker. So this here is in replacement of the Pressure Cooker XL. I've had this here mm, maybe three, maybe three years. Anyways, I think I mentioned to you guys like, I don't know, maybe a day or so ago or a couple days that I had to order um, replacement parts for this one here as well as the Instapot. But this one they don't make anymore. I can get this off. They don't make them anymore, so they don't have the replacement parts. And I need the little seal that goes here and the screw that goes in it. So since they don't make them anymore and they don't have the parts, they went ahead and replaced the unit with this new version here. And all I had to pay for was the shipping, which was $24.99, $25. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm going to open this up and see if the little seal thing that goes in there that's in this pot will fit in this pot. I'm hoping so because it's still good. I mean, it's still good to go, still good to use. It's a beast. And this one here is, it's the XL, so it's like 10 quarts, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to get rid of it. So hopefully the piece from this one fits. If so, then I'm cooking with grease. If not... I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to either go on to the Instapot website and order the largest that they have, which is a 8-quart, 
and see if it will fit. And if not, then I'm going to hit up eBay and see whether or not um, I can find a piece for it. So let's open this up and see. I'm kind of like intimidated. I just like legit got used to cooking with the Instapot as well as the XL. And then I got this new one I have to learn, which I'm assuming is pretty much the same concept as a power quick pot. It's just going to be a matter of getting used to the settings and all that jazz. So, all right, let's open it up. All right, y'all. She's so pretty. Look at her. Ooh, so, so fancy and so pretty. This one here comes with the clear lid, which is pretty awesome that it comes with this. So you can definitely use this like a slow cooker and you will be able to, you know, see what you got in there and all that stuff there. So, so fancy. She is gorgeous. Now, I'm sad to say it won't work. So, it looks like I'm not the only one that has lost a little seal on the um, that goes on here because the way it's made with this one, the seal doesn't come out. Let me see if I can, you see it coming out right there? Like, okay, it doesn't come out, which is great. That means no more losing it. So, that's perfect. I guess they realized the issue with that. I wonder if the Instapot or like the new version of Instapot's um, it's like that, but that's the little hole there. And then underneath it, there you go. So it doesn't come out. Like it drops down so you can wipe it and clean it, but it doesn't come all the way out, which is perfect. But that means I won't be able to use it for this one. So I'm gonna be hitting up Instapot and I probably ordered the eight quart um, replacement piece for it. This here is the, like the insert that goes on the inside of here. Maybe we need to do like a whole complete Whenever I get ready to like actually use this beast, then we'll do a like walkthrough of this whole thing here and do a, a meal in it. Anyways, um, that was just a little insert that go in there. So I'm going to go on to instapot.com or whatever the website is and order the eight quart little replacement piece and see if that's going to fit in this one here. That way I can still use her. And like I said before, if not, then we shall use, um, uh, we're going to get my Instagram. I'm going to get on eBay and see if we can just get one there. If y'all know like how I can rig this up, I mean, to still use it, let me know. Because the thing is, is that without that seal, it doesn't vent correctly. And I have burnt so many things in here, not realizing that that was the issue that I didn't have that there. Um, so yeah, if y'all know how to rig that up and if I could go to, I don't know, the Home Depot or something and find something that would work. Let us sister know, please. 